trade. So that was a plan uh, that I saw over the weekend to change this to make it look a little bit different so as so the, the owner can appreciate it once more. It's not always easy to work on a tree. All I did was a little bit of wiring just to save time tonight during the uh, uh, operation. As you know, wiring is like watching paint dry. Everybody falls asleep. So we don't want that to happen tonight. So uh, the idea is to just hopefully show, hopefully this will work, it may not work. There's always that chance it will never work. So I never like to priest tell what I'm going to do with the tree because it may not be what I tell you. <laughs> so let's hope it's going to. But it's quite an old juniper. How long have you had it for a hey, Hamish? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I think it was kind of early 90s or mid 90s around that time when I got it. And it, was, it had been started, and um, over the years it got away from me. And I, I used to trim it with the edge trimmers when I walked past it. That you do, yeah. And uh, I stopped wearing them. It just got too lanky and too far away from me, so I gave up. Okay. Well, I've tried not to. Uh, put any shape into it is, from what I found, but it is difficult when you're worrying why it tends to move the branches around. You can see it's a bit out of positions wrong and a few different things about it. There's obviously quite something wrong with it, but is it really wise to throw something out like this? The first choice I thought of was perhaps discarding most of the branches and using this base of the tree of course and this branch here you could have made a take all the top off and ended up with a cascade or a semi-cascade style a very high a cascade is not necessarily a tree in a pot over the edge of the pot. Some of the nicest cascades, some of the more unusual cascades, are trees which have come up with a very long high trunk and then cascaded down the side of the pot so you get a very high trunk. But in that case when that happens then you usually have a bare part of the trunk which is the apex, that's really the apex of the tree. It would look quite silly if you had a apex stuck on the top. Less than very, very short. So it's quite okay to have a very tall, high cascade style of tree. It could be cut back quite easily and just have the one branch from here too. I just worked on this one branch to make it either into an informal upright. How do you do that? You bring up this branch. And out of those two branches, you could have made a much smaller tree with a nice thick trunk, and that could have worked too. That's the second choice. You could have had a cascade by just using this one low branch here as well. Keeping a, a couple of these. This is the top of the tree. Cut all this off, and then go with this one. That's the third choice. That is a choice of doing nothing but try to leave everything on and make it into a tree. Any other options? Excuse me. Does that, does that um, with the heavy pruning, would that bud back, generally bud back down onto old wood to, to fill that in? Very slowly, very slowly. A bit like pine trees. You can't, you can't go back to bare wood, like on a pine, you can't go back to bare wood, but you can go back to a shoot where there's a branch further back, you can do that. But you can, you can push it in, no problems at all. 
but it just takes time. So what I decided to do was to, well, any other, any the, other thoughts? Anybody there's else? Reality, the other star, the oh, single star, so, so, yeah. or, or a literati, chop everything off, use some of these high branches here, and you could end up with quite a nice literati juniper out of it as well. Could you tilt it over more and straighten the trunk a bit? Thank you, of course you could. <coughs> of course you could. That's one of the first things to look at doing. Because what's happened, why the tree has gone this way, as you can see, it's gone in the wrong direction. If it had fallen over that way, it, the direction would have been fine. But it went that way. And why did it go that way? Because you've got more weight on these branches here. And it's actually pulled it over gradually more and more this way. So if we tilt it over, that way, tilt it over that way. All the way. see that it's more potentially like a informal upright again. Do you all agree? You can see it? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Good, because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, you have to always try and, before you discard anything, always try and think, well, is there anything else it could be other than what, what you notice? Know see, we have this thing in our head and it's understandable, you've had something for two or three years and it's taken you three, four, five years, whatever, to get to that state where it has to, to get it there. And you're happy with that. The second year comes up, it's still the same. It still looks okay. Maybe the third year, it starts to look a little bit different. You still try and keep it the same as it was. So what you're doing each time is taking it back to what's in your mind as how the tree should look, because that's what it was. But you've really got to work outside the square and say, oh, maybe I don't have to do that. Let me take it somewhere else. Until you get to the stage where it's, like in this case, we have to take it somewhere else because it's gone past that, that state. So never be, never be concerned or worried that you have to change the style of your tree because that's what trees are doing. They're growing, they're changing. Not every year. But at least every two to three years. So don't be scared to change the style of your tree. It's better you do that than try to keep pushing your tree back to the same style. And it makes it better too for showing your trees. Why? It's a new tree each time. Yeah, that's right. You better your tree each time you do something. But not only that, if you're bringing the same tree to the show each year, people are going to say, is that what you've got? <laughs> Haven't you got anything else? So make the tree into something else. It will, you will appreciate it. You've got a new tree by not buying anything, by just by changing the style of the tree. So think laterally, look, look, look at the tree and consider what else you can do with it. If you're not sure, if you're not game, ask other people first. Ask not just one person, ask two or three people. See what they think. They may have an idea that even, you know, other people haven't thought of, or you haven't thought of. But when you get a tree that is old and spindly like this, I say, I use the word old because it looks old because it's very, quite sparse. It's no use to try and make this tree back into a short, compact tree again. So what I'll be doing is try and use most of what we have here to try and make it look like a mature tree. Because isn't this what we're aiming to do? Give the illusion of an old tree. The tree's there before we are. The tree's reached the age, I say age, 20, 25 years, let's get on in years for a juniper. So let's use what we can. But you're right, let's change the angle of the tree. But what it's also got, it's got nice surface roots too. Over the years, with watering, this, the roots have eroded away. Uh, the roots, the soils eroded away and exposed the roots. So that's all adding character to the roots. Use that on your tree to give the illusion of age. Everything you try and do to the tree is to try and give the illusion of age. So by exposing the roots and showing the, the different features, you're constantly helping to make the tree look old. It's only an illusion. The tree doesn't have to be old, it's just an illusion. 
as I always say, you've heard me say it a dozen times, bonsai is an honest way of cheating. Try and make it a pole. Okay, but so if I change that, at, that angle, I work on these lower branches first. I'm going to try and use all these lower branches to begin with. smaller gauges of wire than a really thick heavy gauge. Uh, for the simple reason, if you look at the tree, you can see from there where there's three wires together, that, or four wires at that stage, you've got that width of wire to bend the branch. But if you've got a really thick piece of wire, you've only got one smaller surface area. This gives you a much wider surface area to be able to bend the branch and get more movement in without, hopefully without it snapping. But always, always dry your trees out, of course, to make it a little bit easier. How long did it take you to wire that one? Um, about three hours, I think. It's done very quickly. This is the problem with wiring. It, it is a long job, it's a long process, but it certainly makes a difference to your trees. Now, whilst we're talking about Every tree has a definitive front, but also it should have a choice of fronts, even when it's uh, uh, even when you've decided you've chosen a front. It gives you that point to work from, but there are other choices as well. There's always another choice on the front of the tree. It's just the uh, viewing front of the tree. You must always have a view in front, but it's not necessarily a true front of the tree. What I say by that, it may be a front of a tree which somebody else prefers anyway. But in reality, your tree should be viewable from 360 degrees. Not necessarily each one must have a front, but just look okay from all sides. That will take quite a bit of time to develop. Would you still stick to that rule where it leans forward towards you a little bit? Yes. Yeah. That's right. That's what changed it. Because you know the apex of the tree comes towards the viewer at the top of the tree. And the... Uh, sorry, I need the wire now. The apex comes towards the top of the tree, uh, leaning towards you, which is just uh, welcoming just a thing to welcome you. The tree should look as though the branches have got its arms coming towards you to welcome you. The apex of the tree is like bowing its head. We're talking of uh, Asian philosophy here, Japanese particularly, but also Chinese and or any of the other, the other philosophies, is to welcome your, your guests so their arms come out like this and head bowing, saying welcome. Okay. That's what we do with our trees. 